Sense the latest political upheaval in a year of instability in Mali. The Prime Minister has announced his resignation hours after being arrested by ex-coup leaders. Sheikh Madibo Diara had been an interim leader since April when the army officially handed power back to civilians. Our country is going through the most difficult period of its history. Men and women who are worried about the future of our nation, you are hoping for peace. It's for this reason that I, Sheikh Modibo Diara, am resigning along with my entire government today, 11th of December 2012. Jim Terry is a former senior analyst at the International Crisis Group. He says the Prime Minister was clearly forced out by the army. I think it's a way of the military saying uh, to the Prime Minister and uh, the interim president, etc., and the, those uh, civilian aspects of, of the current government, that one, they're still in control, and two, I think is a statement about potentially um, momentum growing for foreign intervention. Clearly, uh, the, the Prime Minister uh, was in favour of foreign intervention, and there are some good grounds to object to that. Uh, but also one must uh, suspect that those people behind the coup and the military in particular would see foreign intervention or present of any foreign forces, particularly if it's backed by the West, uh, as a threat to their political power. Whether the uh, junta or the military behind the coup uh, are actually interested uh, in the short term of moving to a, a dem more democratic system uh, can only be to told uh, over time. And clearly with the current situation, uh, with the uh, insurgencies, uh, etc., uh, they have a good reason uh, not to worry about moving towards a, a more de democratic system in the short term.